Hey, welcome back to Stock Talk with Eric Anthony. Hope your guys' day is going well. Okay, so for today's episode or show, whatever you want to call it, today on the channel, we're going to be focusing on the solid state battery space. And actually, we'll narrow that down a little bit more and focus on a company called Solid Power, what they have recently unveiled, as well as discuss Electjet and how they kind of can come up in this conversation. I think the next few videos, we're just gonna be kind of focusing a little bit more on new companies out in some of these lithium battery plays, solid state battery plays, or drone spaces, and you know, or genomics, whatever we wanna do. But yeah, I, mean, I hope this can be utilized as a point of reference for anyone that is new to solid state batteries, or just trying to better familiarize themselves with not only Electjet, but what else competition is doing out in the space. All right, well, like always, thank you so much for checking in with Stock Talk. Let's get into it. Solid Power's pilot production line brings road tripping solid state batteries closer to reality. Solid Power, a solid state battery company, today unveiled a pilot production line for EV size cells that will be sent to automated partners for testing. The move represents another step in the steady march towards solid state lithium ion batteries, which promised to bring unprecedented range and safety to electric vehicles. The company went public via SPAC in December after raising several rounds. Solid Power has received backing from a long list of industry insiders, including automakers Ford, BMW, and Hyundai. Battery maker A123 Systems and the venture arms of Samsung, Equinar, and Coach Industries. Solid Power has been working on a pre-pilot line since 2019. That more flexible line was intended to use industry standard production techniques to produce ever larger battery cells, starting with two amp hour and scaling up to 20 amp hours. And we'll get into exactly some of the batteries that Electric produces and where their amp hours are at. So stay tuned for that. While those are good specs for early test cells, they're not nearly big enough for today's EVs. The new line will focus on cells in the 60 to 100 amp hour range which is in line with current models. The startup is focused on producing solid state electrolytes, the material that helps shuttle electrons between two electrodes. Solid state electrolytes hold an advantage over existing liquid electrolytes because they help prevent spiky dendrites from growing on the anode. If those anodes grow too long, they risk bridging the gap between electrodes and causing a short circuit that can lead to a fire. That, along with other properties of solid state batteries, allows the cells to store more energy and charge faster. And we'll also discuss charging time with Electra as well. So once they complete their in-house testing of their first cells, Solid Power will continue using the pilot line to refine its production techniques. If all goes planned, the company will eventually produce B samples in the first half of 2024, a sort of beta product that will show the way to a near production ready C sample. And they anticipate that solid state battery designs should be in the EV market by 2027. So yeah, that kind of wraps up the article on solid power. Um, I skipped through some parts. So like always I'll put the link below so you guys can check out and read it and get a little bit more, um, you'll get a little more insight from the CEO himself. I just kind of skipped those parts so we can kind of just focus on some of the benchmarks regarding amp hours for solid power, as well as discuss some of their time and just some of the things that they're focusing on regarding the years that they see that they plan for rollout, as well as some of who they're involved with, because no matter where you're invested, I think it's always important to understand your space in totality and not be so tunnel vision on your own company and just be understanding that there are other players involved and just kind of get a real idea of where they're at so you can use it as a compare and contrast for maybe some of your favorite companies such as Electjet. So again, I think the main takeaways from this article is that by the end of the decade, so by around 2027, they plan on having their, their fleet ready, you know, their batteries ready for EVs that should be in the 60 to 100 amp hour range. Right now, they are in the two as and as high as 20 amp hour range, and they're still trying to work out their kinks. Now, that's what really caught my interest regarding this article, because it made me think about some of the news that we've already heard regarding Electjet 
and exactly where they're at with some of their batteries specific to amp hours and where they see those batteries growing. So let's jump into some previous articles that came out so that we can kind of just get a better scope on how Electric compares with solid power. And I, like I said before, I think it's quite interesting to see when they're side by side. So you can just get an idea of where the two are at and exactly how they're moving synonymously with one another with regard to production and how one seems to out seems to be outpacing the other. Okay, so I wanna bring your attention to an article that came out maybe a couple months ago regarding the Battery Innovation Center and some of the test results that we got for some of um, some of electric batteries. But what I want to do is just highlight some of the things that I remember from this article and seeing the solid power article so so that you guys don't have to do all that work. You guys can just watch it here. But let's pay attention to some things that came out in that article. Okay, so this article was Alpine 4 holding subsidiary Electjet releases the results from the Battery Innovation Center BIC on its AX class solid state batteries. And like always, I'll put the link below so you guys can check that out. And I'll also put the link below to the video so you, in, in case you guys don't wanna read it, cause this one's a little bit longer than most. So you can check out the video below to check out those highlights. Earlier this month, back in March, Electjet engaged the Battery Innovation Center in Newberry, Indiana to have a third party verification of the specifications of its AX class of solid state batteries that Electjet has already confirmed in its laboratory. And again, remember, already confirmed. That's a big keyword. Electjet has engaged the BIC to verify the results of the GAX class as well later in 2022. The AX battery class is a ceramic oxide solid state battery and it comes in the form of, drum roll please, a 31 amp hour solid state battery and a 10 amp hour solid state battery. So right there, that's that's kind of the big thing. Electric batteries are already, you know, in some regard, 15 times the amp hours of some of what solid power has, as well as 31 amp hours, which is already above their 20. And now, of course, their new production line, they're gonna be focusing on the 60 amp hours from the 60 to the 100. But what my point being is that if solid power is already is thinking this far ahead and they plan on making all this come into fruition by 2026, 2027, where do you guys think that Electjet is in this process? Because to me, if we already have 31 amp hour batteries in production right now, that's already being tested, the test results are phenomenal at that. So where do you, again, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below or maybe tweet me when we put it out. Where do you guys think Electjet will go from the 31 amp hour solid state battery? Where do you think their next range is? And again, if you want more information on how it was tested, again, they were like tested on their thermal heat tested, the folding crumbles and the nail puncture test. So some key takeaways that you want to remember is look at this. The AX01 has a design commercial cycle life of over 1200 charge cycles. The AX-02 is an energy dense cell that also has a high degree of survivability, but trades some of the safety material features of the AX01 for much higher power densities and higher life cycles. The BIC confirmed that the AX02 has the capability to charge at 4C. This means that the battery can fully charge in just 15 minutes. The AX02 is also capable of 7C discharging in over 2400 life cycles, both of which are currently in the process of being confirmed by the BIC. The BIC did confirm that the AX02 measured a discharge energy of 113 watts per hour at a C2 rate, which measures at the 31.4 amp hours. Something to keep in mind is that the AX31AH02 is the best all around battery cell in production and ready to transform various industries, including the EV and power storage markets. Vehicles from companies like Tesla, Lucid, GM, Ford, and Rivian all use traditional lithium cells. And we already know we have a relationship with Rivian. If their vehicles were powered by the AX31AH02, they could charge in 15 minutes, store more energy for longer duration trips, and have battery cells that can power their vehicles for over 300,000 miles before the battery would require replacement. There is no better way 
to say this than that batteries don't just change the game, they redefine it and we are hitting the ground running. And that's per Ken Wilson, CEO of ALPP. One other thing I wanted to bring to your attention in comparison to solid power and Electjet and where they're at with their solid state batteries, not only is Electjet already ahead of the game with the amp hours today, but, but one other thing you wanna keep in mind is this, and this is with regard to the future of Electjet and their production lines that they have coming up in just a few months. A one half GW solid state battery factory is planned for the United States with the ability to expand to five GWs as demand increases. At one half GW, Electjet will be able to generate up to 4.5 million AX class solid state batteries per year. And at GW, and at five GW, Electjet will be able to generate up to 45 million AX class solid state batteries per year. The AX31AH class of batteries, which you already know are ceramic oxide solid state batteries that are designed for energy dense applications that need a powerful battery solution, have three subclasses. And we already know that two of the subclasses are in production right now. Then we have their, their next line, which will be the GAX with the operating spe specifications of up to 4C charging and at a 4C rate of charge, the AX class can charge in just over 15 minutes, which we already discussed. The AX31 class has energy densities. And again, something you wanna keep in mind for the, the AX01 and the AX02 is that these are already in production overseas currently but in you know like i said in the next few months or the next coming quarters however you want to put it they will begin their production here in the united states and hopefully we get to we get to that 5gw level which will i think just kind of blow competition out of the water but anyway i just wanted to kind of bring your guys to attention that article because if you don't have any concept of what electra is doing you would read that solid power um, article and be like, whoa, they they have no competition. They're ahead of the game. They're in, you know, cahoots with leading manufacturers. You can't take anything away from that. And they have great batteries, you know, with regard to their two amp hour or their 20 amp hour batteries. But I just wanted to make sure that we kind of remember that Electra is, it seems to be, and again, this is just my per own report and my, just per my research. So we need to keep in mind that Electjet is ahead of the game. And it seems that to me that nothing will slow it down, no matter if we hear that competition is coming, because just like with any market, competition is good. So like I always wanna do with this channel is kind of be as transparent as possible, bring to you guys' attention, especially as long-term investors, all aspects of your investment, have a great idea of what's going on, not only within the company that we're investing in, but as well as with competitors across the board so that we can get an idea of just exactly how we're measuring up and ultimately what steps need to be taken to continue that stretch to be as far ahead of the game or in some aspects, what steps need to be taken so that we can catch up. If anything, most people need to start catching up to what's going on with Electra specifically with the solid state batteries. But okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My wife has actually gone back to work full time. So the schedule here is a little bit different. We're not gonna be able to pump them out as much as I would like to. What I will be making a more conscious effort in doing is kind of doing more homework behind the scenes and giving you guys more videos like this so that they're not so centered to today. And in case you don't get to see the video, today that you're not going to miss out on big news that's going to come out tomorrow. My goal is to continue to make videos that you can reference back to and ultimately help, like always help shape some of the plays that you're in, or maybe some of the companies that are on your watch list for the future. All right. Well, like always, thank you so much for checking in with Stock Talk with Eric Anthony, and I'll see you mañana.